Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on uh, geometric sequence. And uh, it's an IGCSE, GCSE uh, type question. Now, I must confess that I've not seen this sort of question in uh, GCSE higher tier before. You do in IGCSE. So this, this is a new twist in the GCSE curriculum here. Uh, the sequence is this one, uh, three, 3 root 8, 24, 24 root 8. That's our, that's our sequence. And uh, it then says, work out the next term, the one the fifth term of a sub 5. So, we want to find the common ratio. The common ratio is the nth term divided by the n minus 1th term. So in this case, if you do 3 root 8 divided by 3, we give us uh, root 8. So we can now write this sequence as uh, s sub 1, s sub 2, s sub 3, s sub 4, s sub 5. And the first one is 3, 3 root 8, 3 root 8 times root 8. Because um, if we multiply root 8 by root 8, we get 8. Yeah, so 8 times 3 is 24. So the third term is 24. Similarly, for the, for the fourth term, now 8 times 8 is, sorry, root 8 times root 8 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So the fourth term is 8 root 8. I'm giving to all. Now, all we need to do for the fifth term is to multiply the fourth term by root 8. So we now have 3 uh, times root 8 times root 8 times root 8 times root 8. Now, we know that root 8 times root 8 is 8. Multiply by root 8 times root 8, which is 64. 64 times 3 will give us uh, 192. So the fifth term is 3 times 64, which is 192. So that's our fifth term. Now we need to find the uh, the nth term, or s sub n, if you, if you wish. Now, before we do that, a quick reminder of what we already know. Because x to the power 0 is equal to y to the power 0 is equal to root 8 to the power 0, and not equal to 1. So now, we can now uh, rewrite our sequence as uh, 3 times root 8 to the power 0, because root 8 to the power 0 is 1, so 3 times 1 is 3. 3 multiplied by root 8 to the power 1, which is our second term. 3 multiplied by root 8 squared, which is our third term, because root 8 squared is 8, 8 times 3 is 24, and that's our third term. So multiply that by root 8, we get 3 times root 8 to the power 3. And then our fifth term will be 3 multiplied by root 8 to the power 4. So, now, going back again, our first term, if you remember from here, is 3 times root 8 to the power 0. Now, over here, what I've done, instead of saying power 0, I said 3 multiplied by root 8 to the power 1 minus 1. For the second term, I've done 3 multiplied by root 8 to the power 2, second term, minus 1. And for the third term, I've done 3 root 8 to the power 3 minus 1. For the fourth term, I've done 3 to the power root 8 to the power 4 minus 1. And for the fifth term, I've done 3 times root 8 to the power 5 minus 1. And so for the nth term, it's going to be 3 multiplied by root 8 to the power n minus 1. And that is the nth term, or the s of n. So the nth term will be 3, or the general form is going to be 3 to the power 8. So 3 multiplied by root 8 to the power n minus 1. And that is the formula of the n, for the nth term. Okay, now for the fifth one, sorry, for part 3, it says, find the value of this to the second term divided by the 18th term. Okay, now the to the second term is going to be 3 multiplied by root 8 to the power 32 minus 1, which is 3 multiplied by root 8 to the power 21. Now, similarly, the 18th term 
is going to be 3 multiplied by root 8 to the power 18 minus 1, which is 17. Now, we're not dividing, aren't we? So if we divide 3 multiplied by root 8 to the power 21 divided by 3 multiplied by root 8 to the power 17, and because we're dealing with indices here, 24 minus 17 is 4. And the 3 is cancelled out. So we end up root 8 to the power 4. That's root 8 times root 8, which is 8. And root 8 times root 8 is 8. So 8 times 8 is 64. So if you divide into the second term by the 18th term, the answer is 64. Now, I do hope all that made some sense. And please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. And bye-bye now.